to Popoyan because it was Semana Santa and it's a UNESCO site and so we we had very good experience there we also stayed there for a month and took little side trips to little towns and um, we should also mention that we did we pretty much exclusively used AARB and Airbnb. Airbnb Airbnb has been a wonderful resource for us. Yeah, we met people, we, uh, we talked yeah. to people, we made friends. Highly recommended. Yeah. It's we stayed there for a month and we determined that it's not probably the place for us. It's very isolated, it's, it's more... Um, traditional. Traditional, yeah. way more traditional. There are so many Catholic churches there and, and people. It's a lot and of white paint. Right. It's all That's white, what they call it. White the white city. city. Yeah. Yeah. So we spent almost three months in Colombia the first time. Did you spend time in Pasto? No, we bypassed Pasto. So, and then we decided that what's next on the map, let's look at the map, Ecuador. Hmm, it's a lot of gringos talk about it. Let's explore Ecuador. So we took a bus. Octavano. From, we took a bus from Popoyan and went on the old the Ipeales, yes. Yes. Nine or yeah. something. Um, so, and we ended up in Otopalo first. Again, with some wonderful folks from okay. the... Wonderful folks from Ohio, we ended up in Airbnb. They've been living the there. Americans. They, they lived there for about five years. Yes. And. Um, it was really nice to have that contact and to have uh, their their particular take on it. They were very nice. They were much more engaging than some of the Airbnb places we've been in. They took us on private tours. Yeah. We went out a lot with them and saw the area. Yeah, we saw the area and, and Tim being Tim and being a musician. The guy is musician, serious, professional musician. And um, Tim was just, maybe we should stay in Otavalo. <laughs> It was okay. It's nice, the market, expat. it's big expat in Notavala and next to this, what's that little town? Oh, there's a number of very that? nice parks there, there's big, no, the natural areas, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's higher, a higher altitude, so it's not, never really gets warm like it yeah, does here. It's pretty chilly. It's, um, but anyway. After we stayed there for what? We extended our stay to, to 10 days, but we really got to know the area. Kotakachi is also on the mm -hmm. Gringo map. Yeah. So we went to Kotakachi, spent some time there. It's very small, it's very insular yeah. in the community there. Mm -hmm. it, it feels to me that eventually you will make friends and you will make enemies and it will be living yeah. hell. It's high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, it, exactly. So. We decided to move on and we went to Quito, took a bus, Quito. went to Quito, again, I liked Quito, I'm not a big, big city girl, surprisingly, but that historic part of yes. Quito yes. is gorgeous, it's beautiful, it was, but we yeah. started it noticing, was, yeah. stray dogs, <laughs> dog shit, <laughs> food, uh, a lot of chemicals. What I think strikes me about Ecuador is how much unregulated this is and I'm very health conscious. So we talk to people about this issue a lot Yeah. and it appears that there are no regulations whatsoever. It's yeah. in their constitution though, they're against the GMOs, right? Yeah, the, GMOs are uh, banned supposedly. They're ba yeah, they're banned. But so we thought that was it, uh, but they very, used, very but they, yeah, it was, there's no uh, it oversight. Was, yeah, there's no oversight and there's no enforcement of uh, the rules, imagine. I think I need to stress that one of the reasons really why we left the States was my relentless migraines. I had had them for my entire life since I was 10 years old and with my, my last 
jobs where I managed people and it was a lot of stress, they ran out of control completely. It was almost daily, my life was miserable, I couldn't really function very well. I, and uh, we reached the point where I understood that I need to leave, period. Mm -hmm. That climate is not, it's barometric pressure changes. Yeah. I couldn't take it anymore. So that was also intentionally we tried to test the places that closer to the equator because the word is it, it will not have that much fluctuation and not much temperature fluctuation some altitude. Some, with some altitude. So that's why we we ended up. Interestingly enough, Medellin was not good for me. I think it's because it's in the in the valley and I had some wicked headaches there. So in um, yeah. Quito, it, it was totally touristic. We stayed, again, about two weeks. Yeah, so, so and then first time was two weeks. We started looking for um, opportunities to maybe house it. We met a wonderful, wonderful woman. She has a coffee farm for 16 years and she needed somebody to watch over her dogs and cats and we are definitely dog people <laughs> so we agreed to do that and we stayed it was about two hours e southeast of Quito, no it's northeast 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 of Quito. Quito. very isolated area very beautiful it's paradise stunning stunning stunningly beautiful but it also provided us with the opportunity to test that lifestyle because we had fantasy that we will be able to do it. After staying a month isolated with no connection to people that you can talk about it's more than, yeah. than going to the... Yeah. yeah. It, it was a fantasy and we understood that we need to be a little closer to you're in the more traditional cultures too these folks have known each other not only does everybody know everybody else but they've known one another for generations yeah so it's your estran hero you always and will you always be, will be. Yeah. you always you attract attention so i it wasn't uncomfortable but it was a good good opportunity to learn this environment and mm -hmm. agree that mm, probably not ideal for us Long. after that we went to Loja. Loja. No, we went to Cuenca. Oh yeah, Cuenca first. We went to Cuenca because that's where I met. That's where we met you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. It was wow. It's on everybody's. We all this journey exploration started. Yes, we travel and we test places that we read about in international living. That's uh. how we got hooked into this idea. But we very quickly we discerned what's true, what's not true, yeah. so it was very... Whatever's <laughs> not in their article is probably true. It's probably true, true. Yeah. yes. So it's a, it's a good place to step off, it's a good place to start your curious, your yeah. curiosity. Um, but be, do, 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 be diligent. Diligence, yes. yeah. It's a well, their articles are, if you go anywhere, Maybe the first week you only see the wonderful things. Absolutely, right? absolutely. That's what their articles are. Yes. They never address what they it's like a year from now. No, they don't go deep. Right. I think it's a beautiful city. Beautiful. It's mm -hmm. colonial. It, it's fantastic. It's got a lot. There's a lot of art scene there. There's a great, great art scene. Oh, Music, art, music, uh, culture. Uh, food, really good. There was some. There was some good restaurants. Yeah, we uh, found some. We found some interesting restaurants. Um, interesting beer, which we uh, enjoyed. We really enjoyed. Indulged. Yeah. But also, my feeling, you know, it's I. I need to mention it because I am very sensitive. I pick up energy. The moment we cross the border between Colombia and in Ecuador, I told him, this is not my place. The people changed. It changed so dramatically. In the bus station. In the bus station. We were in, yeah. in um, Tulcan and we observed some interaction between people and I said, it's so different. It's yeah. so, so different. So from that moment, it was just, nah, probably not. 
Uh, 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 uh,